Hello there. Well, I'm Roy, and I'd like to show you some of the new features of Hoster 530 and the later 531 releases. Uh, so, without any further ado, we go on, and you'll notice uh, it, one of the first things is we've now got an artist column, uh, which is one thing that wasn't in the others. Now, you can right click on that. And it will bring up, um, or you anywhere on that head, and you will bring up this, um, so you can pick which columns of data you want to show in your playlist. Uh, so obviously, it, you can reduce uh, the items that you you don't take a lot of notice of, uh, and you can change them any time you like. But um, you, that will also decide what prints out in the next thing I'm going to show you, which is uh, you can now print the playlist. So we go over to the uh, file menu and we go to the print playlist and you'll see what this brings up an HTML page of the actual playlist. Now you can't edit it, in, edit it. it's as is, it's as the uh, playlist is laid out. Uh, and the only thing that's uh, extra is it tells you how many songs are in that playlist. So that's uh, one new feature there, but there are a few other printing uh, things where you can print fun reports, so this playlist reporting, and that brings up this dialogue. Now uh, you'll see here, you can select the columns, what you want to print out there. You can filter on whether you show all of them on video or just karaoke as which I've clicked there you can show from a certain date so you put this down and um, then we, we say from um, last couple of months July to August so uh, you just so I've ticked that column off because I don't particularly want that but anyway you can change fonts but it generates another report which is um, these reports you can um, sort. Um, so you can sort on these columns by clicking on the header. So A to Z, Z to A, or as they are when you when you open it. Uh, so as an example, there we are. So it goes that's A to Z on the uh, song column, and you you. Just, you got the times it was sung and the date it was sung, um, but there's plenty of other, um, a few other of them. Um, you can print these out, by the way, just by from the file menu in your browser. So then you've got uh, others you can do is the number of times a singer has sung. You can have reports of the times artist has been sung or of times song title has been sung, which could be handy if you want to know the most popular song. Uh, so there, are. that's the, uh, the the printing of playlists and reports. Uh, so right now, another thing what you, has changed in this, you notice here where this is me singer display there. Uh, if you can now switch the singer's name display on and off. Now, before, if you switch that off, it would just show a blank a, a blank box in that area. But now it completely removes it and it stretches the uh, the, the picture you got there to fill the frame. The next thing you might notice is we got the time, which is the actual time, up in the corner there. So that's on this. Um, in the marquee so you go to the marquee for that so we'll open up the marquee and there you can see the set in there so if I press the apply there you see it would it would do away with that so we'll put the show time back just to show it for now now then the other thing is um, I'll stretch this out a little bit so you can see it better in a minute now I've got it on no scroll we we'll put it on scroll so that you can see the um, the next effect now where you can you can show those things that you saw on the singer's name display you can display most of it on the uh, in the marquee now but you have to enter these codes and you can tick the boxes on and off as you as you want so I've put you can go up to nine singers and songs and times you the codes are percent s is for the singer and the one is for the singer who's now on 
percentage with a T is for the title of the song. So I'm showing there who's on now. It won't show the, that until you start a song. The number one won't show till the song is actually playing. Percentage S2 is the next song in the, in the playlist. Percentage 3 is the next song, and you'll notice there I've got a P3, percent P3, which is the um, for the time, to display the time. Now I'm showing nine singers there ticked. You can tick all these off, but you should put all these controls on separate lines if you type these controls in. If you, if you typed them all on one line, and then you got down and you didn't have enough... So you had you had up to five on one line, and then you got down. There's only four singers left. Then it still wouldn't show four, three, two, one. It's got to be able to complete whatever you put in that line. It, it's got to be able to com complete. So it's best to put them all on separate lines, and you can just tick them off for how many you want to show. So we we'll demo that. I'll, I'll expand that so you can see it better. Right. So here we are, we've got Welcome to the Show, uh, Audio Next, it's not showing who's playing now because I'm not actually playing anything, so Ashley at 3.04, which will be the actual time, Albert at 3.08, and then I don't put any more time, so I've got then a video, then it's Hayley, Colin, and Brad, and Mike. Now you don't obviously have to have all of those showing, you just tick the boxes off, and... Uh, reduce it down now I'll just reduce that down tick them all off and just sh just to show you so it takes the time this right. tick that one off and I'll put the the, the, the title in there apply and okay and We'll play a song uh, just to demo it, and you'll see now it will show um, "Welcome to Welcome to the Show." Haley now, so yes, who's singing now? And then um, "Borderline" was the title. So there you go. Now then, stop that there and go on to the next feature. So another thing we've got here is a, is a slideshow. Now, you can have a, sli a slideshow showing when you're in, 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 in interval. So um, if we take the, sh the slideshow, intermission view. So where you've got your um, this folder that you keep your, your, your picture in, if all, any pictures you add to that folder can they be displayed in the uh, that main dialog but by pressing this rotate button now I'll show you I've got about three songs in I've got three pictures in there and uh, if I want them all to show one after the other you just press the rotate button and then uh, apply and you'll see, you could set the time, it displays at some four seconds, random effect is to do with the uh, how it changes from one to the other, and you've got a random order, and then that's where I have it on stretch for pictures like that, but if you was putting um, pictures of fo uh, photos in it of people, then you'd, probably, you'd want it on fit, because if it's on stretch, they, they start to look a bit odd. So there we are, I'm going to turn that off and put it back to, to normal. Now the audio, you can also have it on Audio DJ, so uh, what again, whatever, f what, whatever pictures you put in that folder, once you tick the rotate box and set the other settings up, I've, as you'll notice I've put it to fit there because I'm showing pictures of people's faces and uh, I've actually got artists. I mean, you can show, um, if you've got a regular uh, venues, you can show people at your, at the, your singers and that on the screen. But anyway, uh, I'll give you a demo of this. So um, we'll close this. 
and uh, this is for on uh, if you're playing an audio so there's an audio song so we play this and you can see you just get a well, so that could be you could have you as i say your singers uh, on there or anything you like yeah, just add their photos into that folder and it should when you um, stop a song and then you start by another song later on it should remember where you was in the in the order so it, it shouldn't keep playing the same one again so we'll uh, stop that there so um now we've got the next thing is we've got a singer's disc this is a, a new feature now the singer's disc you can now play direct from the disc so we click click the singer's disc and you notice now you have a track window come up here as it's showing there track number one now if you open that it tells you exactly how many songs are on that disc and you can just pick your track number out from that so you pick a track number out you don't have to put a title in of the song, uh, but but, but um, you, that's up to you if you want to. But if you've got internet access and it's a regular manufacturer's disc, not not a uh, one you've made yourself, a regular manufacturer's disc, it will find that from the online database and put it in automatically. So all you need to do is pick the, the track number and a singer. So we we'll put Dave down for this. And now, if you press add, it would uh, import it as it always did before. But if you pick the play from this, it adds it to the bottom of the playlist, just as it would if you was importing it. You can drag it to anywhere in the playlist. So we'll bring it up here so as if it was the next one to play. And it will play straight from this. So we press that and we'll see. Obviously, you've got to leave the disc in. And it um obviously you can't have it remove silence so you get you get that little bit of balls uh you can change the key of it but you can't change the tempo but as you can see there and you see there it plays perfectly well straight off the disc uh, provided of course you've got a suitable um cd dvd reader and you know, connected now then now supposing you left, you didn't have the disc in, you took the disc out for some reason and uh, you, was, that's, you came back later in the evening, you've already loaded it in but you want to play it and you forget to put the disc in and you press play, you get this uh, you get a drive not ready notice up. So it doesn't crash, all you have to do is put your disc back in, which I've just done, and you click OK, and then it will take a little time to um, read the disc first, and then it will start to play. Right, there it is, so it, it plays just the same, it doesn't crash. Uh, so now another thing, that I'll stop that. Now another thing is you can... Uh, re uh, shrink this playlist, main playlist, to the uh, to the taskbar, and, and without affecting the, the singers, what the singers say, the singers screen. If that was on an extended uh, monitor, it would still stay up. So I'll show you that. So there you are. See that stays up, but that would stay up if it was on an extended monitor. And just to, so you could actually have a uh, yeah, what we got was a video is a video let's play a video right so you could have a video playing on your extended monitor and you could bring something else up here if you wanted um, and it would still it wouldn't affect you could have no pad up or anything like that and mess about with that and then when you're ready come back the audience wouldn't know anything about it so there you are that's about as far as we can get with this um fifth because we're only allowed 15 minutes for these little videos so um i may make another one and watch out for part two i'll show you a few more of the new features bye for now